Hi, welcome to Seymour's World Commentary on Think Tech Hawaii. Our topic today is, do you count your blessings? The concept is one we all understand, but sometimes it's really hard to find what is good when times are tough. When times are difficult, both professionally and personally, that is the time when we really need to work to see this situation in a different perspective. It's not easy because being grateful is not a must in our lives, yet being able to see our different issues in a different light is the best way to move forward. I have often described true gratitude as a quiet state of inner calm where you are truly thankful for what you have, not what you don't have in life. The reality is that there is no true perfection and life is filled with its ups and downs, the good, the bad, and everything else in between. Once we realize that there is a purpose to it all, we begin the process of counting our blessings. Look at it this way. If you are grateful, more is given. If you are not, more is taken away. If you constantly look for the good things in your life and appreciate what you have, you create a sense of happiness that will give you the perspective of gratefulness. Here's some easy tips. If you identify with a negative thought, say you're stuck in traffic, switch to something positive, like now you have time to call a friend. Try to be thankful every day. Learn to recognize that life is full of those ups and downs. Be thankful for the ups and realize that you can maneuver through the downs because that is just part of our lives, our journey. It is called full spectrum gratitude, where acceptance of the good and bad becomes a new standard in how we live. Next, try this one. Begin a daily reflection. It could be meditation, which I do as often as possible, or just lying in bed at night thinking about my day and remembering all the good things that happened. Try to make a point of remembering those who have helped you. Let's look at all the baddest challenges and begin the process recognizing the path to overcome those challenges. If we understand that challenges are the catalyst for growth, we then are much better prepared to overcome the negatives. So my friends, if you can count your blessings, you will create a circle of connectivity that fosters joy and fulfillment. That is the profound recipe for happiness. Now I have to tell you this commentary is the last of my series on Think Tech Hawaii, as I'm progressing to my own YouTube channel and blog postings. I want to thank Jay Fidel and all the staff here at Think Tech who have made my commentaries much more successful than I ever imagined. I hope you will continue to send me your comments. As I always say, I learn as much from you as you learn from me. Aloha from Seymour's World.